Welcome in everyone. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, hello. Hi there. Feel free to say hey in the chat. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Where are you in the world? How are you feeling today? Hi. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Good to see you. Hi, we'll get started soon. Welcome in. Feel free to say hey in the chat. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Good to see everyone here. Idaho, India, welcome. Hey from LA, me too. Hi everyone. Good, we'll start practice in just a minute. Portugal, hi, I'll be there next week. Um, so have a mat set up. Um, if you have a yoga block or a blanket or a towel um, as an alternative to the yoga block, have that too. We'll keep the props really minimal. It'll be a gentle floor-based practice. Hi everyone, welcome in. Hi. Very good, hello. Amazing, if you're just tuning in, hi, my name's Nikki Sakariccia. Let us know in the chat where you're tuning in from, how you're feeling today, and we'll get started in just a minute. Great to see everyone here. Hey. <laughs> Right. So if you're just joining in, make sure you have a good floor space to practice on. Maybe you have a yoga mat. Maybe you don't. That's all good. Um, maybe you have a yoga block or a blanket or a towel. That'll come in handy. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Hi. Good. So if you're all set up and ready to go, feel free to get yourself situated on your mat. We'll start in just a sec. Hello, France, welcome. Amazing. Hi, everyone. Moldova, amazing, <laughs> great. Cool, so if you're just joining one more time, um, some floor space to practice. You'll see in the background here, just empty floor space. Um, and then if you have a yoga block or a blanket or a towel that you can fold up a few times, that'll come in handy as well. We're looking at about a mm, 25 minute gentle style yoga practice. Hello, welcome. All right, good to see everybody. I'm just checking one more thing on the tech side. Hello, if you're just arriving, let us know in the chat where you're hailing from, and then feel free to get set up on your yoga mat or a comfortable floor space. Cool. Hi. It's still morning time in LA, so I'm going to say good morning, but maybe it's good evening where you're at. Okay. Good. Welcome, everybody. My name is Nikki Sakariccia, and this is a HEAL documentary and well set collaboration called Self Care Sundays. Every other Sunday, you will get the opportunity to be here live with a well set instructor like myself to have a roughly 30 minute um, experience of practice. Um, if you're not familiar, well set is the first holistic digital studio on the internet. We have just over 20 different modalities, including uh, yoga, Ayurveda, acupressure, EFT, um, journaling, sound bath, breath work, all of which are designed to help release tension, increase balance, um, release emotional debris, emotional upset, and give you all tools to help live well and lighter. Um, at the end of this session, you'll get a really nice discount code to join us in our membership of over a thousand and growing on-demand practices um, curated specifically for you. Um, let's see, what else do I have to share with you? Uh, right, me. 
<laughs> My name is Nikki Sagrigia. Um, I, on the WellSet platform, um, primarily teach yoga, breathwork, and mindfulness. Welcome, everyone. Um, and you'll get a feel of that today. I'm a trauma-informed practitioner and have been a student of yoga for uh, over 22 years um, and teaching for about 12. I'm so glad that you're here to practice with us. If you're just joining, hi everyone. If you're just joining, grab some floor space. Maybe you're on a yoga mat or just an empty space on the ground. Um, and then if you have a block or a folded blanket or towel, that will come in handy too. Okay, good. So this style of practice is very gentle. You don't need any yoga experience. And even if you do, um, if that's great. You know, you won't be... Um, sort of lost. But if you're brand new, this is a perfect entry point for you. Um, the, the biggest sort of thing that uh, new people to the practice get kind of hitched on is thinking about the breath, right? So as far as yoga is concerned, there is an inner healing intelligence, an aspect of each of us that is beyond pain, beyond stress, um, infinite and abundant. And through the techniques of yoga, which I'll be guiding you through today, we connect back into that. So I won't be giving you anything. I won't be healing your tension and stress and emotional upheaval. You will be connecting into that through the techniques provided by the yoga method. So without further ado, let's begin. Grab a mat space. I'm going to shift back onto my mat as well and we'll get into it. I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome everybody. All right. So we are going to begin today's practice on the back in a posture called constructive rest pose. Apropos for the intention of this class today, which is to cultivate presence and ease. So find your way onto your back. Have your feet on the floor wide apart so that your knees can easily drop in together. There's definitely a sweet spot here if your feet are too wide, the knees won't connect. So start to get settled in. Feet on the floor wide, knees knocked together in constructive rest pose. For each of these postures, it's always best practice to make it suit you, sort of like trying on clothing. It might generally fit you, but you want it to be tailored to you. So feel free as I'm sharing these methods to customize them to suit exactly how you're feeling right now today. So we're in constructive rest pose. I'll invite you to place one hand over your abdomen one hand over your chest. You're welcome to close your eyes if that helps you focus or tune inwardly better. And take, take a few moments to physically settle onto your back and against the ground. Allowing your physical eyes to rest away from the screen. See if it's possible for you or get curious about this aspect that I mentioned earlier. This aspect of you that is well, unaffected by stress, aggravation, responsibility, busyness, the inner healing intelligence that dwells within. Can you get curious? curious about that, and if possible, can you even sense it? Maybe you have a sense of where that lives within you. And now sense the touch of your hands on your body. Really sense that. And from the touch of your hands, the way a doctor might use a stethoscope to hear 
and sense your heart beating. Use your own hands to sense your breath. Notice that you are breathing and that you've been breathing. And imagine or entertain the idea that our conscious breathing is the link between who we are physically, mentally, emotionally, and who we are at that deep center of well-being. Allow your inhale to deepen. Breathe very fully in. Enough that you you feel your chest and you feel your belly change shape a little bit. And then exhale through your mouth. Try that again. Inhaling fully through your nose. Feel that shape shift under your hands. Exhale through your mouth. And one more time. Collective breath in. And all the way out, making some space. Start to breathe only through your nose now, containing the energy of your being that rides the breath. And allow your arms to open wide. Palms facing open. With your feet still wide on the ground, let them both drop to the left side, knees dropping to your left. You don't have to push your knees to the floor, just wherever they land is perfect. As you're inhaling, bring your knees and your head up right through center. And then exhale, drop off to the other side, not forcing anything. Breathing in and come back through center. Begin to link your movement with your breathing the way a dancer and the song might link together Exhaling, drop your knees and your head to the left. As you breathe in through your nose, come through center. Exhale the other way, starting to smooth it all out as if you've done it for a million lifetimes. Allow it to feel familiar and easy. One more time each side. This Simple breath-based movement has a very hydrating effect on our soft tissue, our fascia. It's especially nice first thing in the practice. If you haven't done a lot of movement or you just tend to feel a bit stiff or dehydrated or tacky as far as movement goes. All right, coming up through center, bring your right knee towards you. Clasp your knee with both hands. Again, don't force Force, don't bully your body. Just gently bring knee to chest and wherever you end up is great. Your body and my body don't have to look exactly alike and our abilities don't have to match, right? Everything is custom fit so that it really reflects who and how we are right now. With your right knee held in, explore how it feels to walk your left foot forward or completely extend your left leg down for a single wind or moving pose, Ardha Apanasan. Apana is the life force energy that moves out. It's the eliminating current of energy. Um, I'm using it to create speech. Uh, it's the same life force current we use to exhale, to sigh, to sing. And here specifically, if there's any pent up gas in your digestive tract that might be creating discomfort in the back of your body or along your spine, wind removing pose helps to eliminate that or move it out of the system. Let's add a little ankle mobility. Begin to draw circles with your right foot, rolling your ankle around. Keep your right knee held close. Let's say you've come into class just now and you're on a full stomach, pregnant, menstruating, constipated, anything where there's a fullness in the abdomen, bring the right knee out a little wider. All right, bring your hands to the back of your thigh. Loose grip, soften your shoulders towards the ground. And as you inhale, extend your right leg up. Exhaling, bend your knee down. 
We'll do this together with the breath. Inhale, lengthen the leg upwards. Exhale, bend. Allowing your mind to focus more clearly. Watch your right foot moving in space. If your eyes are open, you're literally tracking your toes as they lift up into view, breathing in, tracking the toes as they seemingly disappear forward, bending the knee as you exhale. You can track your foot with your mind's eye if your physical eyes remain closed. And I'll actually and invite you to try that if you haven't yet. Using your internal gaze or your mental map of your physical body to pay more attention to what you're doing and how you're doing it. The next time your knee bends, pause. Place that foot on the floor. As, as you exhale, bring your left knee into your chest. Hold it close without tension in your hands or your shoulders. Feel the support of the ground underneath you and use it for support. Pausing here in single wind removing pose, Ardha Apanasana. Take very generous breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. Connecting to the subtle link between physical and energetic self, cooling and calming through the breath. Explore walking your right foot further forward or completely extending the leg straight. In order to create this quality of easefulness and presence, it's important that the actions we take match that intention. We're not trying to create ease and peacefulness by pulling and yanking and overexerting. So if that is your tendency, just check in, become mindfully aware of that. Scale it back, dial down your effort a little bit but keep your breath really deep and purposeful. Roll your left ankle. Using your mind's eye to witness your ankle rolling in circles, becoming more aware of how that feels. Avoid multitasking here, trying to be here and also somewhere else. Give yourself the opportunity to be in the practice of experiencing yoga. Slip your hands to the back of your thigh. And on your next inhale, extend your legs straight up. As you exhale, bend your knee, tracking your toes with your eyes, if your eyes are opened, or with your mind's eye, if your eyes are closed. Practicing Yoga asana, the physical method of yoga, the postures, allows us the opportunity to increase proprioception and awareness of our body and space with real clarity. This improves coordination, confidence, athleticism, balance, physical balance. Let's try two more. Inhale as your leg extends straight. Exhale as the knee bends. Okay, place both feet on the floor. Let's return to constructive rest pose, that original position we started in. Feet wide, knees knocked together. Allow the arms to come down by your sides with your palms facing open. This is a gesture of receptivity that we're able and willing to take something into our open hand. Allow your mind mind to empty of judgments, doubt, expectations. Breathe deeply in through your nose and as you exhale, extend both arms up towards the ceiling or even overhead towards the floor behind you. And if this causes your back to bend a lot, maybe your front ribs poke up or there's now a lot of space under your spine, see if you can drop your rib cage into the support of the floor. Take a long inhale like this. And as you exhale, bring your arms down. Consider humming as you exhale, allowing the vagus nerve to tone, creating a 
physical environment of ease and safety. I'll model that on this next round. Inhaling, arms reach overhead. Exhale with a hum, doesn't have to be very loud. Let's try that two more times. Breathing in, arms sweep up overhead. One more time. Mm -hmm. Inhaling arms sweep up overhead. With your feet still on the floor, roll to one side. This is the kindest way to get up off the floor. Let's say if you have any sort of back pain or stress, come all the way up to sit with me. Okay, so if sitting on the floor brings tension or compression into your hips or lower back, this is why we grab that prop. So maybe you've got a yoga block, a blanket, a meditation cushion, something that can help lift your pelvis slightly away from the floor will create some great ergonomics to release that compression here at the hip flexors and in the lower back. Do your best to sit up really tall. Deep yogic breathing as you inhale, feel the chest and ribs expanding out and up. Exhale with that hum, letting your ribs and abdominals soften. Adding movement to breath. Inhale, arms reach up in a circle, growing taller up the sides of the body. Exhaling, right hand sets to the floor. You don't have to reach out too far. Lean onto that arm, allowing your spine to bend laterally. Take a deep breath here into your left side. As you exhale, push off your bottom hand to come up. Left hand finds the floor beside you, breathing in right arm lengthens. Exhale, bend deep to your left side. Pausing, inhale towards your right side body. Exhale, switch. Inhale, reach. Once more the other way. Back up through center. Interlace your hands in front of you. Push your knuckles forward, allowing your spine to round backwards. Sense that your chest and belly are contracting back. Your shoulders are away from the ears to eliminate tension and gripping in the upper traps. Allow your chin to soften down towards your chest. As you breathe in, lift your chest up and forward, reaching your arms overhead. Exhale again, dome your spine backwards, push your knuckles forward. Inhaling, rise for seated cow pose, arms reaching overhead, and one more of each, inviting hydration and circulation and health into and around the spine. Arms reaching up, chest lifted. Breathing out, rest your hands on your thighs, palms facing down in a gesture of groundedness, presence, and awareness. Let's take three more rounds of humming breath, toning the vagus nerve and the parasympathetic response or the healing mode of our physical body. Breathe in gently through your nose. Gentle hum. Importantly, you want to feel that vibration in your throat, in your mouth. Try it again. One more, this time a little lower. Try to get that vibration down into the pit of your throat or your chest. Mm. 
breathe naturally on your own. Noticing how you're feeling after a few minutes of mindful breath-based movement, activating the hardware of your relaxation response. That's how it feels to be in global community with one another, pouring into our own cups. If it resonates with you, you can join your palms in front of your chest, acknowledging your effort, your curiosity, and good karma for showing up today, joining us here, Heal Documentary and Well Set. My name is Nikki Sakariccia. You can follow me here at Light Inside Yoga. Please follow Well Set at Well Set Co. Um, we should have it in the comment section, but because you've been here with us today live, you'll have access to a ongoing discount to join us on WellSet. It's HEAL25 to get a discount on our monthly membership. I think it works out to about 15 bucks a month USD. Um, the next live event here will be on June 25th. So mark your calendars. Um, please let me know in the chat, how are you feeling? Maybe put up an emoji of what it feels like in your system now to be here. Thank you everybody so much. You can also put questions comments in the chat we'd love to chat and say hello amazing uh so there's a question in the chat this is a good one the lives always happen at 11 a.m pacific every other sunday and you'll see it if you follow well set and heal doc we'll um post it a few days in advance to let you know to mark your calendars so that you don't miss it yeah thank you everybody Amazing. Thanks everyone for being here. Right, so you can follow me at Light Inside Yoga, and then you can follow Wellset at Wellset Co. And then Heal Documentary, you're here, so you're already following. Yeah. Thanks, Diana. Yeah, chilling on a Sunday, exactly. That's exactly it. The replay will be posted, mm -hmm. and then you can also find it on YouTube as well. And Heal will send it out in their newsletter, you know, uh, maybe in a day or two. Yeah, it will definitely be a replay, so you can get it from the top. Great. Good, everybody. Great to see you all. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great afternoon. Bye.